Okay, so if you're pretty good with numbers, well, then you should be able to estimate the answer to this math problem using nothing but your brain, i.e., you're going to be doing this using mental math, no calculators, no paper, no pencil. And the question is one third percent of 598. And again, uh, what we're looking for here is not a perfect, accurate answer, but a reasonable estimate. All right, so the only rules, again, are no materials other than your brain. But if we could figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how you can do this problem using mental math. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, I want to make one quick comment because some of you out there may uh, actually be subscribers uh, to my YouTube channel. And if that is the case, thank you so much, uh, as I definitely appreciate that. And I bring that up to say this. You might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I just saw this video. You just did this video, and then you took this video down, and you would be correct. Now, I did this video earlier in the day, and then I noticed, I actually posted the video, I noticed that I had the title backwards. I actually had these words in the wrong place, and I, uh, I kind of uh, got past me, and I posted the video, and I said, boy, I just got to redo this, because I don't like to have things kind of out there floating around if, you know, if I made a mistake. So I'm redoing this video, and I think it has something to do with my new glasses. My eyes are kind of making <laughs> this a, a bit of adjustment, so I apologize for that. So again, if you saw this video earlier, the answer is uh, uh, the same. The process is the same. I'm basically making this thing over again but so I can have the right title. All right, so many can't estimate this in their heads. That's what I meant to say in the previous videos, but let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer to this question would be two. All right, now, if you got a number pretty close to two, like 1.9 or 2.1, well, those would be good, reasonable estimations, but two would probably be the most common answer. But if you got this right, well, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving a nice, slow, happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars, you can tell your friends and family that indeed you still are a math whiz because, again, you're doing all this math in your brain. And what we're doing here really is doing uh, mental mathematics with percent. And that's probably the most common type of mental math that I think all of us would do in a kind of practical everyday life. Now, obviously, we all have, well, I'm not going to say obviously, but most of us probably have access to a cell phone or have a cell phone or have a calculator, and we can do these calculations, but you know, sometimes you don't want to take the time or you don't have any materials around, and when it comes to percent, i.e., let's say you're uh, you know, at the store and you want to just do a quick percent calculation, well, use mental math, and that's what we're practicing right here, and the only way to get better at mental math is to practice. All right, so let's go ahead and get into how to do this. This is not that difficult, but before we look at how to do this using mental math, let's just kind of review how we would do this problem using a calculator. So what we're doing is we're finding the percent of a number. Uh, basically like this kind of uh, question here, 7% of 82. So how would we do this? And let's suppose we did have a calculator available. Well, what we would do is we would change this percent to a decimal, and then we would multiply by 82. So 7% as a decimal would be 0 0.07. And to go from a percent to a decimal, how do we do that? Well, we divide by 100 or remove the decimal point over two places to the left. So hopefully you understand how to find uh, the percent of a number. And that is the process. But if you're looking at this problem and you're thinking, all right, well, that's what I need to do here. I got to change this into a decimal. Now remember, this is a fraction of a uh, percent. It's not like 7%, I have one third. So I'm gonna have to think of this as a decimal or as a fraction, okay? So either way, you're going to have to uh, write this 
percent as a decimal or a fraction and then multiply it by 598 and doing this all in your head would be very difficult but if you actually figure this out well that is super impressive but for most of us we need to make this problem a lot easier and the easiest way to make this a manageable problem for us to do in our brain is to fix this number right here so we have 598 and you know what we wanted a reasonable estimate now what number is this pretty close to well if you said 600 i would say that is uh, absolutely correct so 598 so and so instead of doing this problem using 598 let's just round up to 600 that's going to make things much easier so the new equivalent problem will be one third percent of 600. all right now if you were thinking in this term or these terms right here to do this uh, you know, problem using mental math, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna uh, round this 598 to 600, that is fantastic. So now what we have to talk about is the strategies to find the percent of a number uh, just using our brain. Okay, so how would we do this? Well, the easiest way to do this is just to kind of review basic percent, and you wanna um, kind of uh, review how to find a percent of a number where you know the answer. Okay, so let's just uh, talk about how to find 1% of a number. Okay, now you can use 1% or you can use 10%, but you want a nice uh, kind of a rule of thumb. And 1% um, of 100 is what? Okay, well, hopefully all of you are saying, well, that would just be 1, right? So if we had 100 pennies and I wanted 1% of 100 pennies, it would be 1 penny. Now, by definition, percent is... Uh, let me just go ahead and write this right here. 1% is equal to 1 over 100. So percent, by definition, is when we compare a number to 100. In other words, where 100 is the denominator. So that's what percent is. Now, knowing that, let's talk about what 1% of 200 is. Okay. So what is 1% of 200? Well, hopefully you said 2. So that's going to be two over two hundred, or two over two hundred. I'm not going to write two out of two hundred, right? So two out of two hundred is one percent. Now, why is that? Well, we we can reduce this fraction right here, and now we have what one over one hundred. So one uh, is being compared to one hundred. So this is one percent. All right. So what is one percent of three hundred? Well, we're just going to follow the pattern. It is three, right? And I think most people know this. But if you can do this or kind of review this little mental math trick right here when it comes to percent, well, then we can figure out the answer to our problem pretty easily. And uh, let's go ahead and just talk about what 1% of 600 is because this is the question or this is the number that we're going to be using in our question. Now, the actual question here is one third uh, percent of 600. But before we do that, let's just make sure we understand what 1% of 600 is, and if you said 6, you would be absolutely correct. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the next step and figure out what one third percent of 600 is, now that we know that 1% of 600 is 6. So let's go ahead and take that step right now, and of course that step I'm talking about is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I love making YouTube videos. I post a lot of content and I am human. And from time to time, I make some uh, mistakes like posting a video with the wrong title. So when I catch my mistakes, I try to improve. And for me, that means that, oh boy, I've made an error there and I have a lot of people watching my videos. So I need to kind of remake videos. You know, that's the kind of habit. I don't let things slide by if I'm aware of an error that I make, I try to get better, okay? And that's the same idea in math. When you are doing math, you know, you're gonna make mistakes, and we all do, right? Or doing anything, we're gonna make errors. So if you wanna get better at math, what you wanna do is just kinda notice some of the mistakes that you might be making. And the only way you're gonna realize those mistakes is by being neat and structured. And of course, it would be great to have like a teacher or somebody who knows math, uh, to, you know, review your work and say, oh, this is right here, that you need to work on this, you need to work on that, or work on this. But one of the things that um, you can do to really get better at math is to be very neat, organized, and structured, okay? And double, triple check everything. And even when you do that, uh, things from time to time will get past you, just like my little video here where I made an error. So don't feel bad. Remember, math is a uh, skill 
or I was going to say a game, but it's not a game, but it is a skill, and a sk this skill requires focus. Math requires complete dedication and focus. But anyways, I say all of that because some of you probably watched this previous video that I made with this error. But anyways, uh, hopefully you're getting some value out of this, and if that's the case, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos and hopefully all my latest videos will have no typos or no errors, but I can't guarantee that, but I can guarantee you that I will be making future math videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Now that we know that 1% of 600 is six, and of course we, uh, we went through and reviewed how to do that, the question is what? Well, what is one third percent of 600? So we have 1%, and we want one third percent. So how can I go from a one percent to a one third percent? Well, just take that one and divide it by three. Okay, so if I take the one and divide it by three, I end up with one third. So if I know that one percent of 600 is six, but I want one third percent, well, I'm gonna divide by three. So over here, I'm going to divide our answer for one percent of 600 is six, I'm gonna divide this by three because I only want a third of that percent. So six divided by three, of course, is our answer two. All right, now this is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this problem using mental math. Uh, but uh, if you used another technique, that's perfectly fine, especially if you understand you know, exactly what you're doing and you find it easy and you got a good answer. But uh, for some of you out there, you might be thinking, you know, I need to kind of brush up on a lot of these math skills. I forgot how to find a percent of a number or whatever the case might be. If you want to uh, kind of check out my full instructional courses, I'm going to leave links to all those in the description. But for those of you that are not math students, I'm going to give you two recommendations right now. My Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Those two courses are designed for people that are not math students but want to kind of relearn math. But if you're in a particular math course like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, whatever the case might be, you'll find links to those this uh Links to those courses in the description as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.